Okay, we have here take another integral on the board. We've got the integral from three to infinity of this whole thing. Okay, now at first I was thinking this is the kind of integral that actually tries to look intimidating. It tries to look scary, but actually I think if we just, if we can deal with this exponent and simplify this, I think if we can clean that up, it's not gonna be too bad. And this is just kind of a rational expression. So let's just take this exponent over here and deal with that separately. So I'm gonna write this out as three x squared minus 18 x. And then for this 31, let's just split this up. I'm gonna write this as 27 plus four. And then we'll have this all over this denominator, x squared minus six x plus nine. But now the reason I broke it up that way is just if you'll notice that if you just multiply by three, if you multiply this denominator by three here, you get exactly, you get exactly this part in the blue here. And that's why I split off this four. Then splitting up this fraction, the first part's just gonna be three. And the second part, we'll just have four over x squared minus six x plus nine. But then I think I can still simplify further because for four, I could write this, I could write this as two squared. And for x squared minus six x plus nine, this is gonna be the same thing as x minus three squared. So rewriting again, I could express this as three plus two over x minus three all squared. So now we'll just take this and we'll put it back in our exponent. But now from here, I can still do some more algebra because first of all, I can factor a two out of this. And when I do that, I'll bring that out front of our integral as one half. So we'll have this here. But then when we do that, this here is gonna become just x squared minus six x plus nine. But that's the same thing we had over here. So this is actually the same thing as x minus three squared. And there's still more that I can do with this exponent because now we're adding on the exponent of e, I can actually break this up into two terms. And this one here, that's just gonna be a constant value. So just, so when I split this up, I can write this as e minus three, and then we'll distribute the minus sign in here. So then this other piece is gonna be e minus two over x minus three squared. And then, like I mentioned, this here is just a constant value. So we can take this out front of the integral, but because it's the minus three, I can bring it out I can bring it into the denominator and just write it as e cubed here. And then at this point, we're getting somewhere, but what I wanna do is I wanna simplify this further. And what I can do is a u substitution. We'll call this our u right here. And that'll simplify this exponent. So what we'll do, we'll have our u equal to two over x minus three. And then taking a derivative of this, our du value is gonna be, when we do this, this is, when we do this, we can look at this as two x minus three minus one, and then just use power rule on this. This is gonna become minus two over x minus three squared. And then this is almost perfectly set up for our u substitution because this x minus three squared, we have this here. We just need to create this minus two. So what I'll do is I'll multiply in a minus two here, but I don't wanna change it. So I'll multiply by minus a half in front here. And then now we have exactly our du, all this stuff over here to the right. So we'll just go ahead with this substitution. First, what we have up front here, this is gonna become minus one over two times two, four e cubed then we'll update our bounds. So first we'll plug in infinity here. When we plug infinity in there, this thing's going to zero for the upper bound. Then next, when we plug a three in here, we need to look at this as three plus, this is like the right side of three. When you plug that in here, you're gonna have a small positive number in the denominator. So this is gonna be going off to positive infinity. And then here again, this is just gonna become e minus u squared and everything else is du. But then we'll just take this minus sign and we'll use to swap our bounds. But then at this point, all we need to do to finish it off is just recognize that what this is, this is the Gaussian integral. So we know the value of this is actually gonna be square root of pi over two. So multiplying square root of pi over two times one over four e cubed, we get our final solution of just square root of pi over eight e cubed. Okay, so there you have it. Kind of a fun example using the Gaussian integral. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.